Let's take a look at our live Perrysburg cam right now. Still got those cloudy skies out there for your Wednesday, and especially for your hump day. But overall, we're going to start to see those clouds move away from our area as we go throughout the next couple of days. Taking a look at weather around the U.S. We got a few rain showers out there uh, into the northeast, even out west and even into the mid uh, west as well. Taking a closer look at those uh, showers well, into Oklahoma, even into Texas, have one singular severe thunderstorm warning out there, but that's pretty much it for the south. But as we take a look at the southeast, this is the same system, or at least into the northeast. This is the same system that has brought us rain showers from Friday all the way into today. We can still like to see a few rain showers out there as we go throughout today. But you can tell this system has continued to rotate. Eventually, it will go off the northeast coast, but those rain showers will still be pretty active. Let's look at our area right now. Still see some rain showers even into Erie and Huron County. Most of us are dry, but we may see a few showers roll back into our area as we go throughout the afternoon hours of today. So the time that out for you as we go throughout Wednesday around 4 p.m. That's when you can still see a few spotty clouds out there for us, maybe even some spotty showers. But as we go throughout tonight and even into tomorrow morning, we'll still see a few clouds out there that will come off Lake Michigan. But we're actually meant to at least it's supposed to stay dry as you go throughout your Thursday morning. Eventually by Thursday afternoon to the evening hours, well, we'll finally see those clouds move out of our area. And Thursday and Friday, it's going to be a nice day where we could finally see some sunshine and some warmer weather return to our area by 6 o'clock on Friday. By 1 p.m. on Friday, we could see beautiful conditions where this seems to be into the 60s. It'll possibly be a little cooler. As you can see, that lake breeze along the lakeshore areas will still be a little cooler. But overall, going to be a nice day as you go throughout your Friday. Here's a look at your mowing forecast for you. We still got a few pop-up showers for your Wednesday, but as you go into Thursday, Friday, oh, you best believe you can get it done as we dry out by Thursday, and you should be well Good to get it done by Friday. We have a warmer weekend ahead where those temperatures could possibly be into the 60s and 70s. I know that grass is getting a little long, especially with those rain showers we've had each and every day. But as we look at current temperatures right now, just into the mid upper 40s, we're still a little bit on the cool side. But don't worry, as we go throughout the next couple of days, even to next week, we'll finally see that warm up that you're looking for. Take you through those hour by hour temperatures. Eventually, as we head into Wednesday afternoon, even the evening hours, we'll see temperatures into the upper 50s in most spots. Some areas could see even into the 60s as we go throughout 6 p.m. By Thursday morning, well, we start off into the mid 40s. So it'll be a bit of a cold start to our morning again on Thursday. Eventually, go around 5 p.m. on Thursday, we'll be into the lower 60s. So finally, we'll cross over into the 60s as we go into Thursday by Friday morning. Well, we start off into the mid 40s again. But good news is we won't see much frost potential as we go throughout the next week. We may be done with that frost and freeze, at least as we go throughout the next two weeks. By Friday around 4 p.m., we'll jump up into the 70s in some, some spots. Of course, with that lake shore breeze or that lake breeze, that's going to keep a lot of areas that are still a little bit on the cool side, like Port Clinton around 51 degrees, 55 in Monroe, 65 in Toledo overall. If you go more, at least a southwest, as we will find temperatures into the 70s for your Friday. By 10 p.m. on Friday, will those temperatures fall off into the 50s and even 40s as we go throughout Friday night. Take a look at your temperature train over the next 10 days. Eventually, as we go into Thursday, we'll see the, at least the upper 60s for Thursday into Friday. We'll drop back down to Saturday, just around 64 degrees. But after that, we start to finally see that warming trend as we go throughout Saturday, Sunday, and even into Monday, where we'll see temperatures around 72 degrees. And eventually by Tuesday, well, we can be into the upper 70s. We'll drop a little bit as we go throughout the next couple of days next week, where we'll see into the lower 70s. But overall, we're going to have nice conditions and eventually above average temperatures finally as we head throughout May 10th and eventually May 16th. So, the forecast looks a lot warmer as we go throughout the next couple of weeks. And as always, you can download that W211 weather app to stay up to date with that interactive radar, hour by hour breakdown, and of course, the extended forecast. To see when we will finally be drying out. And speaking of that extended forecast for you, here's a look at it. Wednesday, we'll still see a few pop up showers out there, 
But we got a nice dry spell coming our way as we go throughout Thursday, Friday, and even into Saturday, where those temperatures will be into the mid 60s by Sunday. We drop down to the upper, at least uh, go up into the upper 60s. We'll finally cross over into the 70s as we go into Monday, and eventually the upper 70s by Tuesday. We'll still sow the chance of some chances of rain by Tuesday, but overall we'll dry out nicely by the end of the week where temperatures will be into the lower 70s. I'm meteorologist Matt Willoughby. Thanks for watching.